Good morning, uh, dear friends. Myself, Ramesh Kumar Punnada. So today, I would like to introduce how to crack BDR and SFG questions. I think you know what is the main aim of BDR and SFG. The main aim of BDR and SFG is what? For finding the system transfer function. Uh, so how to get and how to calculate that system transfer function in a quick manner. That means within 20 seconds, how to get the, whatever the big question, whatever the complicated question from BDR and SFG, whatever the lumbar question, it's not a matter. Within 20 seconds, how to get the answer, I would like to deal you today. Are you clear? Right? So, uh, guys, first I would like to introduce one question, one big question. Right? First, further we'll go to what, uh, how to crack that question uh, slowly, we'll discuss. Right? So, one small question. Right. So two minutes, I will finish this one. So whatever the complicated question, no issue, we'll get in a single shot. Right, clear. So input is R and output is C, right? And C once, it's a summing point, it's a plus and it's a minus and it's a minus and it's a plus, right? So it's a G1, it's a G2, it's again G3 and G4, H1, H2, H3, H4. So the target is find transfer function C by R. Target is find transfer function C by R. For example, if you don't know the shortcut method, evolute with the regular method. So what is the regular method? So generally what is the regular method? Check once it's a very, very big method. That means a very big solution that is. So first, uh, according to regular method, first we need to calculate this closed loop value, like a G1 by 1 plus G1 H1. Again, we need to do the cascading. Again, we need to do the closed loop. Again, we need to do the cascading. Again, we need to do the closed loop. Again, we need to do the cascading. Again, we need to do the closed loop. Finally, we get the answer. It's a very big processor if you're going with what regular method. So, without using that much of big analysis, within 20 seconds, how to get that answer, I would like to introduce right now. But before going to that shortcut method, I would like to deal, I would like to teach four models. If you are understanding that four models, guys, please listen carefully. If you are understanding that four models properly, whatever the question from the BDR and SFG, it's a single shot answer. Are you clear? So first, I would like to introduce model number one. After model number one, how to achieve this solution in a single shot, I would like to introduce. And further, we'll go to what remaining three models. Right? So first, two, I would like to introduce model number one. Model number one. model number one, right? So one minute. See once, this is the model number one relevant BDR.
let's carefully observe carefully observe if you are understanding these four models properly whatever the question you should feel like were very very easy right so as usual input is r and as usual output is c and uh, it's a minus and it's a plus right clear and uh, it's a g1 it's a g2 it's a h1 and h2 so how to get the transfer function c by r how to get the transfer function c by r so in a model number one how to chase i would like to introduce right clear guys carefully listen carefully listen so before going to evaluating this transfer function first two, i would like to introduce some synapses right so what are the synapses tell me and identify how many number of forward paths are here i think you know what is the meaning of forward path the path from input to output is called as what forward path i think you know so recognize it recognize it how many number of forward paths are here check once this is the input this is the input right and this is the output this is the output from input to output how many number of forward paths are here check once follow the directions properly follow the directions properly we have only one forward path guys carefully listen carefully listen model number one model number one is contains only single forward path model number one is contains single forward path if multi forward paths are present how to chase i would like to introduce in next model right uh? clear so model number one is contains only single forward path single forward path right uh, what is the forward path so this is the forward path right next to recognize the loop what is meant by loop where you are initiated need to terminate in the same position that is called the loop are you clear guys carefully observe it carefully observe it right see once i'm started from here now z1 and h1 is looks like one loop or not check once where i'm started and i'm terminating the same position or not so now see once g1 and h1 is act as a one loop right next check once g1 and g2 and h2 is also act as a one loop now check once how many number of loops are here multi loops that means so two loops are there are you clear so check once g1 h1 is one loop and g1 g2 h2 is one loop right so see second point is second point is which is model number one is contains a single forward path at the same time which is contains multi loops which is contains multi loops multi loops more than one means what which is called a parallel code multi loops it's not a big matter right so how i'm writing that two points i hope you understood well so i'm recognizing the forward paths and i'm identified what loops so two tasks are finished one more task is there for that i will show you how to write the answer one more task is guys you are identify the loops properly right so just you cross check it whether the loops are touching or not touching touching means is there any common area is presence that is called as like what touching otherwise that is called as like what non touching are you clear so check once carefully check once carefully see once see this is a g1 h1 and this is a g2 g1 g2 h2 check once especially in this area especially in this area both two are touching or not so that means what can you understanding about here what can you understanding about here here both are both are touching loops all loops are touching all loops are touching touching loops touching loops guys carefully listen model number 1 model number 1 diagram is contains a single forward path and multi loops and both two loops are what touching if it is non touching how to handle i would like to introduce next model if more than one forward path is present how to handle i would like to introduce in the next forward path next model are you clear right but in this case just i'm introducing how to achieve and how to get the solution while if the circuit is contains if the diagram is contains only single forward path and multi loops both are like what touching loops so it's a very simple easy guys it's a very 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 simple it's a very simple so see carefully i would like to write the answer in a within 20 seconds see once carefully see once carefully guys it's a very very easy 
very very easy so remember carefully remember carefully whether it is a bdr or a sfz it's not a matter transfer function denominator part guys transfer function denominator part is always started with one transfer function denominator part is always started with one why what is the reason i think you know that is coming from where it is a nascent gain formula am i right or wrong but according to our shortcut method please try to remember guys so whether it is a bdr or sfz if you want to calculate the transfer function transfer function denominator part is always started with what one it's a fixed guys and one more point please try to remember denominator part is made up with denominator part is made up with loops or feedback paths and a numerator part is made up with forward paths guys one more one more i would like to repeat denominator part is made up with either loops or feedback paths that means so check once this is the feedback every feedback it's make a loop i think you know are you clear so guys tell me how many number of loops are here two loops right what is the first loop value g1 h1 check once the first loop value is what g1 h1 g1 h1 are you clear so this is the, that is the loop value loop gain loop gain and guys carefully observe it carefully observe it which is contains what type of the feedback negative feedback if it is a negative feedback change the sign that is the shortcut are you clear if it is the negative feedback are you clear change the sign here negative means what about here plus if it is a positive feedback opposite sign minus are you clear so loop one gain is done next one is loop two what is the loop two value z1 g2 h2 g1 g2 h2 are you clear and check once luckily this is also contains same feedback what is the feedback negative feedback if it is a negative feedback consider opposite sign is plus consider opposite sign is plus so denominator part is done i said you know denominator part is made up with what either loops or feedback paths done now go with what numerator part i said you very clearly numerator part is made up with what forward paths how many number of forward paths are here only one forward path so what is the forward path gain check once this is only the forward path so this forward path is contains g1 and g2 luckily g1 and g2 is looks like what cascading cascading means what the resultant is a multiplication that means g1 g2 are you clear so g1 g2 only one forward path is presents only one forward path is presents answer is done answer is done guys check once i'm not using any summing point movement i'm not using any take off point movement i'm not using any uh, closed loop resultant and something 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 else i'm not using any big method so in a single shot how to get the answer from model number 1 i hope you understood well are you clear so this is a model number 1 once again i would like to repeat model number 1 is contains a single forward path and multi loops and likely both are like what touching if it is non touching how to handle i would like to introduce in a model number 2 are you clear so please try to please try to adapt to this resultant properly then only you can understood clearly in model number 2 are you clear so up to the model number 1 is done right uh? so before going to model number 2 guys before going to model number 2 already we have one question right it's a big question it's a book big question so how to get this big question in a single shot now i will show you it's a very very simple guys see carefully see carefully so the first task is identify the loops the first task is identify the loops uh, guys tell me how many number of loops are here how many number of loops are here see carefully see carefully see g1 and h1 is looks like one loop or not are you clear g1 and h1 is looks like one loop or not and next g1 g2 h2 is looks like one loop or not next i'm started from here g1 g2 g3 h3 is looks like one loop or not next g1 g2 g3 g4 h4 is looks like one loop or not is looks like one loop or not are you clear how many number of loops are there four loops and already you know it 
already you know it denominator part of any transfer function is always started from where it is 1 denominator part of the any transfer function is started from where it is 1 and the denominator part is made up with what loops denominator part is made up with what loops guys how many number of loops so see there is no rule and there is no restriction always it is a loop 1 it is a loop 3 if you want to consider this is a loop 1 you may consider if you want to consider this is a loop 3 you may consider it's not a problem a plus b or b plus a cumulative law is accepted by what transfer function are you clear so that's why no worry about that proper recognition i'm choosing like what this is a loop 1 if you want to choose like what this is a loop 1 no problem Right? Okay. According to my order, I'm uh, written the answer. Guys, carefully listen. What is the loop one value is G1 H1. Loop one value is G1 H1. Guys, carefully observe it. That loop is made up with what type of the feedback? That loop is made up with what type of the feedback? Negative feedback. If it is a negative feedback, opposite sign plus. Got it? Next, next second loop value G1, G2, H2. G1, G2, H2. Guys, observe carefully. That second loop is made up with what type of the feedback? Positive feedback. If it is a positive, opposite side is what? Minus. Next, third loop. What is the third loop value? G1, G2, G3, H3. G1, G2, G3, H3. Guys, observe carefully. So, this one is again made up with what? Same positive feedback. If it is a positive, no worry. Consider opposite sign minus. Got it? And last loop. What is the last loop value? G1, G2, G3, G4, H4. G1, G2, G3, G4, H4. And identify it, which is made up with what? Negative feedback. If it is a negative, opposite sign, consider it here, plus. Now, the denominator part is done. Now, the denominator part is done. Are you clear? Next, go with numerator part. Already you know it. Numerator part is made up with what? Forward paths. Are you clear? Guess it and observe it. How many number of forward paths are here? Forward path means, once again, I would like to repeat. The forward path means the path from input to output with a proper way, with a proper direction, without any repetition. That is the meaning of forward path. Guys, observe it. This is the input and this is the output. From input to output, how many number of forward paths are here? For example, if you consider like this one, so this is the ultra direction, opposite direction. So that's why that is not a forward path. And guys, carefully observe it. Only, 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 we have only one single forward path. Are you clear? So, what is that forward path is G1, G2, G3, G4. Hope you are connected. Hope you are connected. Right. Now, C ones. Now, C ones. G1, G2, G3, G4. It is contains only single forward path. Answer is over, guys. Answer is over. Check ones. No need any summing point movements. No need any take off point movements. No need to calculate the closed loop transfer functions. No need to what use the cascading connections. No need to use the parallel connections. Nothing will be utilized here. I hope you understood well how to get the answer like a quick. How to get the answer in a quick way. Are you clear? So check once. How to achieve this question with using model number one. I hope you get well. Like that three mode models we have. If you are understanding that complete four models, whatever the question from BDR and SFZ, whatever the question from BDR and SFZ, like the same way. Are you clear? It's a single short answer. Maximum 20 seconds, guys. If you are practicing well, 10 seconds is more enough. Right? Huh? So please try to adapt this solution once again. And I would like to move second model. Model number one is done. And model number one based questions also I solved very clearly. Right? Okay, next we'll go with model number. This is the model number one. Next we'll go with model number two. 
model number one and model number two have don't have a big difference there is a minor difference how to achieve that minor difference i would like to introduce right guys carefully observe it carefully observe it so model number two model number two first two uh, i would like to draw the relevant uh, diagram for model number two I introduced what is the diagram for model number one like that I would like to introduce what is the relevant diagram for model number two guys carefully listen Just a moment, just a moment. Clear. So, see what's input is as usual R, output is as usual C. Generally, that is R of S and C of S. Right? Simply I'm rep uh, represented like what R and C. I think you know transfer function is which is defined and clearly exists in the frequency domain only. That means what in terms of S. I think you know it's not a big matter. But in place of R of S, I'm using like what R. In place of C of S, I'm using like what C. It's not a big issue, right? And see, it's a plus and it's a minus and it's a plus and it's a plus, right? It's a G1, it's a H1, it's a G2, it's a H2. So, how to write the transfer function C by R? That is our task. How to get the transfer function C by R in a quick way. Right? Guys, guys, observe carefully. Observe carefully. Uh, I think you know model number one. Model number one is contains how many number of forward paths? Single forward path. And carefully observe, guys. Carefully observe. Model number two also contains only one forward path. Check it. Forward path means for the path from input to output, right? So check once model number two also contains only one forward path again so that means there is no big difference in the forward path case so model number two also contains single forward path single forward path right and observe it how many number of loops are here observe it how many number of loops are here so carefully observe it I'm started from here G1 and H1 is act as a one loop or not and I'm started from here G2 H2 is act as a one loop or not so guys carefully observe it how many number of loops are here multi loops more than one loop means what which is called as like what multi loops two or three or it's not a matter right now see which is contains which is contains multi loops which is contains multi loops multi loops guys carefully observe it model number two and model number one first two points are similar model number two and model number one first two points are similar where is the difference observe carefully the difference are where, where it is third point so generally what is the third point in a model number one what is the third point in model number one touching loops both are touching loops check once here both are touching loops but observe but observe model number two observe model number two both are touching loops no is there any common area is there any common node is there any common grifo no nothing is there that means both are act as like what non-touching loops so see here the third point is here the third point is both are non-touching loops both are what non-touching loops guys carefully listen carefully listen if non-touching loops are present if non-touching loops are present how to handle i would like to introduce in model number two that is the main aim to introducing the model number two are you clear in model number one i introduced how to chase touching loops now i would like to introduce how to chase if non-touching loops are present if non-touching loops are present got it so come on guys i think you know you know denominator part is as usual 
Denominator part is as usual always started with what? 1. Denominator part is always started with what? 1. It's not a big matter. And the denominator part is made up with what? Feedback paths. That means what? Loops. How many number of loops are here? Two loops. What, what is the first loop is? G1, H1. First loop is G1, H1. Ha. Observe carefully which is contains what type of the feedback? Negative. Here negative means opposite sign. Plus. Right? And next second loop value is G2, H2. Here positive means what about here? Minus. So up to as usual like a model number 1. But what is the speciality in model number 2? Non-touching. Guys, careful illusion. Careful illusion. Anywhere non-touching loops are present. Anywhere non-touching loops are present, extra term will be generated in the denominator. Anywhere non-touching loops are present, extra term will be generated in the where it is denominator. What is that extra term, sir? Nothing. Which one is the non-touching loop? Multiply both two. That's enough. Which one is the non-touching loop? Those are multiplied. So here, which one is the non-touching loop? Loop 1 and loop 2 are non-touching. What is the loop 1 gain is G1 H1? What is the loop 2 gain is G2 H2? Multiply by both two. G1 H1, G1 H1, G2 H2. So this is the extra term, guys. Are you clear? What about the sign? Generally, what is the sign? How to get the sign here? If it is a negative feedback and I am considered like what opposite sign. Like that, how to get the sign here? How to get the sign here? It's a very, very, very simple. Very simple. Which one is non-touching? Which one is non-touching? Loop 1 and loop 2 are non-touching, right? Ha. What is the loop 1 sign is? What is the loop 1 sign is? Negative. And what is the loop 2 sign is? Positive. Multiply both two. Minus into plus. Minus into plus, minus. Consider as that is here. That's enough. Are you clear? Minus into plus, consider as it is here. Don't change again. Listen carefully, guys. Listen carefully. If, if, if single loop is present, if single loop is present, sign is opposite. If multi loops are present, product that sign and consider as it is. Minus into plus, the resultant is a minus, consider as it is. Don't confuse. Don't confuse, guys. Are you clear? Right? So, up to the denominator part is done. And numerator part, you are the masters. Numerator part is made up with what? Forward paths. How many number of forward paths are here? Only one forward path. What is that forward path is? G1, G2. So, write down. G1, G2. G1, G2. Done. Over. I hope you understood well. How to chase if non-touching loops are present. I am clearly introduced in where it is model number 2. So, first two models are done. Two more models we have. If you are understanding the two more models also well, whatever the question from BDR and SFZ, you feel like it very easy. Right? Next, we will move to model number 3. Model number 3. Model number 3. So, first I would like to draw uh, the relevant diagram for model number 3. Are you clear? So, carefully observe guys, uh, there is a bit of confusion, bit of confusion. If you are understanding that uh, uh, that confusion overcome, you feel like you are very happy in the model number 3. There is no big confusion, very bit of confusion. Right? Guys, careful religion, careful religion. And first to try to draw the uh, relevant diagram for model number 3. Carefully observe it, these are non touching. Right?
clear as usual input is r output is c right it's a plus and it's a minus guys it's a plus and it is also plus it is also plus it's a g1 it's a g2 it's a g3 it's a h1 it's a h2 right so what is our task is finding the transfer function finding the transfer function c by r equivalent right clear so again first i would like to discuss the synopsis right so guys carefully listen <coughs> carefully listen the first observation is how many number of forward paths are present here check it check it forward path means the path from input to output right observe carefully see g1 g2 is looks like one forward path and g3 g2 is looks like what another forward path how many number of forward paths are here two so that's why first point uh, multi forward paths guys carefully observe it multi forward paths in last two models in last two models i introduced only single forward path but in the model number 3 i introduced what multi forward paths is multi forward paths are present how to chase i would like to introduce so multi forward paths multi forward paths are you clear right and guys carefully listen carefully listen and check once check once model number 1 and model number 2 check once model number 1 and model number 2 get the difference at where it is third point right so here the non touching loops and here what touching loops the difference at where it is third point right like that guys like that model number 3 and model number 4 right now it is model number 3 is going on so model number 3 and our future analysis is what model number 4 model number 3 and model number 4 so these two models have the difference at where it is second point what is that second point later i will discuss carefully observe guys model number 1 and model number 2 the difference at where it is third point touching and non touching like that model number 3 and model number 4 also have some difference so that is at where it is second point what is that second point later we will discuss right next third one ah uh, guys observe it how many number of loops are here guys observe it how many number of loops are here loop means where you are started need to terminating the same position that is called what loop are you clear so guys careful listen i'm started here observe carefully this is a bit of confusion here so i'm started here i'm started here z1 z1 g1 and h1 check once g1 h1 this is a loop 1 this is a loop 1 all right and see carefully guys see carefully i'm started here i'm started here z2 g2 and h2 this is the loop 2 observe carefully observe carefully see this is a g1 h1 is a first loop and g2 h2 is a second loop some few people are thinking like uh, this is also loop but that is a wrong for example i'm started here I'm started here. G3, G3, okay. G2, okay. H2. Is it a loop? No. Loop means where you are started. Need to terminating in the same position. So I'm started here. I'm started here. That means what? Need to terminating in the same position. But what happened here? What happened here? G3 and G2, H2 is terminating here. That's why G3, G2, H2 is not a loop. We have only two loops. What are the two loops? G1, H1 is one loop, and G two H two is one loop. Again, what is the point? Multi loops. Uh, already you know how to handle the multi loops, right? Uh? Third point is multi loops. Multi loops. Clear, right? Uh? Last point. Observe it. Both are touching or not touching. Both are touching or not touching. Just observe it, guys. Only because of that reason. Check once. 
loop one i'm using like a pink color and loop two i'm using like a green color check on that pink and green so in this area both are touching or not only that purpose i'm using the two colors are you clear so especially on that area both two are touching or not so obviously both are what touching loops these are what touching loops even small common area is present otherwise even one common node is present node means what in sfg analysis area means in the bdr analysis even small common area is present or even one small common node is present no doubt both are like what a touching loops both are like what a touching loops there is no doubt these are what touching loops touching loops are you clear so how to write the answer so denominator part you are well denominator part is always starts with what one and what is the first loop value g1 h1 guys observe carefully first loop is contains what type of the feedback negative feedback here negative means what about here plus opposite sign na and what is the loop to value g2 h2 what is the loop to value g2 h2 which is contains what type of the feedback positive feedback here positive feedback means what opposite sign is minus guys both are touching loops or non touching loops both are touching loops if both are touching loops no need the extra term why because already we know in the model number 1 are right? if touching loops are present how to achieve that uh, answer already we discussed at the time of where it is model number 1 or not so both are touching no need the extra term denominator part is done numerator part numerator part is made up with what forward paths numerator part is made up with what forward paths guys how many number of forward paths are there so the first forward path is the first forward path is g1 g2 the first forward path is g1 g2 but here one small twist and one small observation is there what is that observation now guys be carefully listen my voice listen carefully guys already you written that value that forward path value what is that forward path is g1 g2 parallelly you need to observe that forward path is touching all the loops or not otherwise that forward path is covering all the loops or not you need to observe it check on carefully check on carefully see g1 g2 this is the forward path right g1 g2 this is the forward path right check on that forward path is touching loop 1 and touching loop 2 so that forward path is touching loop 1 and touching loop 2 that means that forward path is covering all the loops if forward path is covering all the loops no need extra term here by default if that forward path is not covered any loop extra term will be generated how that extra term will be generated i would like to introduce in the model number 4 got the clarity or not right but luckily here forward path is touching all the loops no need the extra term and plus plus inviting second forward path sir it is always plus or minus guys carefully listen if it is a plus it's a plus if it is a minus it's a minus are you clear but most probably most probably uh, forward path means what zeros zeros are in where it is positive signs are you clear no worry about that one and uh, so briefly we will discuss later what is the meaning of vdr what is the meaning of sfg just uh, here i introduce the shortcut methods only are you clear right now come to here guys so second forward path so what is the second forward path is g3 g2 g3 g2 is the second forward path guys again parallelly observe it parallelly observe it that second forward path is touching all the loops or not check on carefully check on carefully this second forward path is this second forward path is passing through this junction or not what is the meaning of this junction touching case i explain you or not so that means second forward path also touching all the loops that's why no need the extra term here also answer is done guys answer is done for example the same question go with regular method it's a very lamba answer are you clear right i hope you understood well how to achieve the model number 1 model number 3 so in model number 3 second point is second point is check once all forward paths how many number of forward paths are here two forward paths all forward paths are covered all the loops are you clear right 
so here the second point is all forward paths are all forward paths are covered all loops covered all loops by default if it is not covered by default if it is not covered or not non touching forward path is non touching that loop how to achieve i would like to introduce in the model number 4 got the clarity or not i hope you understood well model number 3 right next go with model number 4 model number 4 only four models guys if you are understanding these four models well whatever the question whatever the question you feel like what a very 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 easy model number 4 first to i would like to draw the uh, relevant diagram for model number 4 relevant diagram for model number 4 so please note down right input r output c so it's a minus it's a plus it's a plus and it's a plus it's a g1 it's a g2 it's a h1 it's a h2 it's a g3 clear so find the transfer function c by r find the transfer function c by r clear right so first we need to discuss about that some options first guys observe carefully how many number of forward paths are here how many number of forward paths are here g1 g2 is one forward path and g3 g2 is one forward path so which is contains how many number of forward paths multi forward paths multi forward paths it's a routine already we are the masters how to chase the multi forward paths i'm clearly introduced in the model number 3 check once there is no difference in model number 3 first point is what multi forward paths and i said you very clearly i said you very clearly second point is second point is a uh, different point here model number 3 and model number 4 have the difference at where it is second point only so later we will discuss with some bit of time actually what is the second point in model number 3 in model number 3 what is the second point all forward paths are covered all loops but here some forward paths are missing some loops if it is missing how to chase that one that is the twist in model number 4 nothing else right right now uh go with the third point third point guys observe carefully how many number of loops are here how many number of loops are here check once g1 h1 is looks like a one loop and g2 h2 is looks like a one loop and guys careful listen g3 g2 h2 is not a loop why because i'm started here need to terminate here only that is the loop again how many number of loops are here two loops as usual multi loops multi loops multi loops and last point last point guys observe it both are touching or non touching check once it's clearly visible it's clearly visible so this loop and this loop don't have any common area don't have any common node that means both are what non touching loops so fourth point is non touching loops fourth point is non touching loops but already already we are well in that case if non touching loops are presents how to achieve already we know it i already clearly introduced at the time of where it is model number 2 only that's why it's not a big point are you clear the point model number 
especially introducing for what chasing the second point only what is the second point i would like to introduce wait some bit of time right now come here guys tell me denominator part is always starts with what denominator part is always starts with what one routine routine and what is the first loop value is g1 h1 first loop value is what g1 h1 and tell me which is contains what type of the feedback negative here negative means what about here plus opposite sign you know well and what is the second loop value is g2 g2 h2 and which is contains what type of the feedback positive here positive means what about here minus you know well at the same time we need to observe whether both two loops are touching or non touching check once it's clearly non touching non touching means what extra term will be generated or not yes what is that extra term is the product what is the product is g1 h1 g2 h2 loop 1 and loop 2 product already we know and how to get the sign guys how to get the sign so you know well so which loops are a product product their signs also check once here loop 1 sign is minus loop 2 sign is plus minus into plus minus consider as it is consider as it is don't change it are you clear right now the denominator part is successfully done it's not a new here already we know well now go with the numerator part numerator part is made up with what forward paths so what is the first forward path is what is the first forward path is g1 g2 guys before going to second forward path listen carefully before going to second forward path you need to observe that forward path is touching all the loops or not check once that forward path is touching all the loops or not check once this g1 g2 is touching loop 1 and touching loop 2 it's a very happiest situation if forward path is touching all the loops no extra term will be generated plus inverting the second forward path plus inviting the second forward path so if it is a plus it's a plus if it is a minus it's a minus already we know that logic right and what is the second forward path is g3 g2 second forward path is g3 g2 guys twist is here there is a twist observe carefully that second forward path is that second forward path is touching loop 2 but completely avoiding or completely missing what loop 1 or not that is the new point here if any forward path is missing any loop once again i would like to repeat guys this is very very important if any forward path is missing any loop extra term will be generated extra term will be generated here and that extra term also started with one this is very very important guys if any forward path is missing any loop extra term will be generated that extra term also started from where it is one remember that logic clear right so which one is missing loop one is missing what is the loop one value is g1 h1 and which is contains what type of the feedback negative feedback if it is a negative now tell me what about here plus done guys done over check once i'm not using any analysis how to get the answer in a quick manner i hope you understood well are you clear if you are understanding these four models properly if you are understanding these four models properly whether that is a bdr question or sfg question it's not a matter I would like to introduce otherwise i would like to show you two questions how to get the answer in a quick manner one question from the bdr one question from the sfc uh, i will show you very clearly how to chase that one but before going to that one before going to that one so please try to recall these four models properly and thoroughly in model number one i'm introducing how to handle the touching loops and single forward path in model number two i'm introducing how to handle the single forward path and non-touching loops in model number three i'm introducing multi forward paths that means for multi forward paths how to handle in model number four i am introducing the multi forward paths and how to handle forward path is not covered the loop if you're understanding these four models are well whatever the big question or whatever the lumbar question you are easing and achieving very easily right so further i would like to show you some questions then i have some good clarity about my intention right so we'll go with one question one question from the bdr one question from the srg whatever the question how to achieve i will show you 
So first, I would like to show you the question from the uh, BDR. Further, we'll discuss about the question from the SFC. Right? Okay. Whatever the big question, it's not a matter. Right? So input is R and output is C, and it's a plus and it's a minus, it's a plus and it's a plus. We need to calculate the transfer function C by R, that is our target. Right? And guys, carefully observe it. And it's a G1, it's a G2. It's a G3, it's a G4, it's H1, it's a H2, it's a H3. Actually, this is one of your previous year gate question. Are you clear? Now, how to get that question and how to get that answer in a quick manner? Right? So, guys, please keep that four models in your mind. And please try to connect that four models properly. Then you feel like what well, this is very easy. Right? Now, guys, uh, before going to chasing any BDR question or any SFC question, first we need to observe the loops properly. Are you clear? So, guys, uh, see carefully. See carefully. How many number of loops are here? Check once. G1, H1, one loop. G1, G2, H2, one loop, and G3, H3, one loop. Clear? And parallelly read down denominator part. So denominator part is starts with what? One. What is the loop one value is? G1, G1, H1, and which is contains negative feedback, opposite sign plus. And second loop value is what? G1, G1, G2, H2, H2 and which is also contains negative feedback plus plus and third loop value is what g3 g3 h3 which is contains what type of the feedback plus that means what whatever here minus check once up to up to individual loops are done and further we need to check about and we need to look about non touching loops any non touching loops are possible here yes possible carefully observe it loop 1 loop 2 touching but loop 1, loop 3, no common area. Loop 2 and loop 3, no common area. So here two non-touching loop pairs are there. One is a loop 1, loop 2 and loop 2, loop 3. What? How to, how to achieve that one? Simple. Consider that product. Loop 1 equals to how much? G1, H1. And loop 3 equals to how much? G3, H3. Multiply both two. Multiply both two. G1, H1. G1, H1. G3. H3, G3, H3. And how to get the sign? It's a very simple. Loop 1 sign is a negative and a loop 3 sign is a positive. Minus into plus, minus. Consider as it is. One pair is done. One more pair is possible. What is the one more pair? Loop 2 and loop 3. What is the loop 2 value? G1, G2, H2. G1, G2, H2. And what is the loop 3 value is? G3 H3. G3 H3. Are you clear? And again, what is the sign? Loop 2 sign is a minus and loop 3 sign is a plus. Minus into plus, minus. Done. Denominator part is done. And go to where it is? Numerator part. Already we know. Numerator part is made up with what? Forward paths. So observe it. How many number of forward paths are there? So guys, carefully listen. 
careful relation this is the first forward path g1 g2 g3 first forward path parallelly observe it that forward path is touching all the loops or not check it that forward path is that forward path is touching loop 1 touching loop 2 and touching loop 3 check once check once generally which forward path is covering all the loops that is called as what reference forward path that is a big concept that concept later we will discuss so here i introduced only how to achieve the answer in a shortcut manner i am not discussing about the bdr concepts i am not discussing about the sfg concepts are you clear right next up to your up to your perfect or not go with the second forward path what is the second forward path is g4 g3 second forward path is g4 g3 g4 g3 are you clear and parallelly observe it that forward path is covering all the loops or not guys observe carefully g4 g3 is covers loop 3 but which is completely missing what loop 1 and loop 2 or not why because check once check once this is the input and it is passing like this one 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 it is touching the loop 3 but completely avoiding what loop 1 and loop 2 so how many number of loops are avoiding those loops are those loops are placed at where it is extra term in the numerator so here extra term will be generated and you know well that extra term also started with what one that extra term also started with what one now tell me which one is the missing loops that means what which one is the non touching loops towards to that forward path so loop one is non touching g1 h1 so which is a contains negative feedback here negative means a plus and loop two is what g1 g2 h2 g1 g2 h2 and which is also contains like what negative feedback that means what plus done done answer so the same question try with regular method how much time it's killing just you compare it are you clear i hope you understood well right guys careful relation if two non touching loops are four non touching loops like that even numbers product assign product signs consider as it is consider as it is means check once minus see here the sign here the sign how to get how to get minus into plus minus into plus resultant is minus and consider as it is if three non touching loops are five non touching loops that means odd number odd number product signs product signs consider opposite sign consider opposite sign remember carefully 2 or 4 even number multiply consider the same sign like this one minus into plus minus as usual for example three non touching loop loop 1 and loop 2 and loop 3 loop 1 and loop 2 and loop 3 loop 1 sign is plus and loop 3 sign is loop 2 sign is minus loop 3 sign is plus for example this is what three non touching loop case so if this three non touching loop is present multiply all plus into minus into plus plus into minus 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 into plus minus so overall sign is what minus so in denominator part consider opposite sign if two non touching loops consider as it is that means what even number non touching loops consider as it is odd number opposite sign are you clear so how to uh, get the quick answer i hope you understood well and i would like to discuss one question from the sfc then i have some good clarity about my intention right so we'll go with one more question from sfc whether it is a bdr or sfc same same approachment and same shortcut method guys
right listen this is one node and 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 this is one node input as usual r output as usual c and our target is find a transfer function c by r find a transfer function c by r right now c once it's a one it's a two it's a three it's a four it's a one it's a minus one it's a minus one it is plus one uh, plus one and this is minus three minus three are you clear so this is one question for the src guys how to get the answer directly i will show you Ta-da. same logics same logics first observe loops Ta-da. so see once carefully see once carefully carefully so i'm started from here now three into one this is looks like one loop or not and four into one this is looks like one loop or not it's a loop two and guys careful listen i'm started here two into three into four into one it is looks like what one loop or not it's a loop three it's a loop three one minute one minute one minute it's a five and a it's a two it's a two right uh, guys careful listen careful listen and five into two into five into two into one that is also looks like what one loop loop four loop four and this is what loop five loop of five check ones total how many number of loops see this is one loop and 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 this is one loop three into minus one one loop four into minus one one loop and two into three into four into one is one loop and five into two into one is one loop and minus three is one loop minus three is one loop right clear right now how to get the answer same logic guys simple logic very simple logic ha denominator part is always starts with what one are you clear so what is the first loop value please tell me what is the first loop value 3 into 1 3 guys careful legend my voice careful legend voice so generally loop means 3 into minus 1 but in shortcut method just you consider 3 into 1 don't consider the sign guys don't consider the sign just you considered 3 into 1 3 here the sign is indicating like what negative feedback if the sign is indicating like what negative feedback in bdr analysis if negative feedback is present we are considered like what opposite sign or not same manner here also here minus means opposite sign is plus opposite sign is plus got it next we'll go with one more then we have some good clarity about my intention see once it's a loop two it's a loop two four into one that is the loop value four that's enough clear which is also contains what type of the feedback negative feedback if it's a negative what about here plus what about here plus got it next loop three so what is the loop three two into three into four into one that is the loop three guys loop three is loop three is two into three into four into one 4 into 1 that is the loop 3 so 6 4 24 6 into 4 24 right. now guys carefully listen which is contains what type of the feedback positive feedback if it is a positive opposite sign minus opposite sign minus so loop 1 is done loop 2 is done loop 3 is done next go with loop 4 what is the loop 4 what is the loop 4 so 5 into 2 into 1 5 into 2 into 1 right 10 and which is also contains what type of the feedback positive feedback positive feedback means what minus 
got the clarity or not next four loops are done next fifth loop so this is the fifth loop this is the fifth loop are you clear what is the fifth loop three and which is contains what type of the feedback negative here negative means what here plus basically the fifth loop is a self loop what is the meaning of self loop later we will discuss are you clear so up to your perfect or not so up to i introduced individual loops individual loops are done next we need to look about what non touching loops how many number of non touching loops are present here guys carefully listen loop 1 and loop 2 touching here and loop 1 and loop 3 also touching but clearly observe it loop 1 loop 5 loop 1 and loop 5 non touching loop 1 loop 5 non touching loop 2 loop 5 non touching loop 2 loop 5 non touching say yes or no are you clear loop 1 loop 5 non touching loop 2 loop 5 non touching guys carefully observe it loop 1 loop 4 also non touching this is the loop 4 right this is the loop 4 right and this is the loop 1 right so loop 1 loop 4 also non touching loop 1 and loop 4 also non touching observe it is there any non touching pairs are there except to these three check it carefully check it carefully if you did any mistake and where it is denominator the poles positions are wrong if the poles positions are that means the poles identification is wrong complete system behavior is going to deviation so that's why take care about denominator part properly i think you know transfer function denominator part is generating the poles transfer function numerator part is generating like what zeros poles are play the key role in where it is analysis of the system behavior everything you know it's not a big matter am i right or wrong so guys uh, tell me is there any non touching other non touching loops check ones loop 1 loop 5 and loop 2 loop 5 and loop 4 loop 4 and loop 5 and guys carefully observe it one more non touching loop is there that is very clear observation is required here what is the one more is see loop 3 loop 3 and loop 5 also non touching loop 3 loop 5 also non touching check one check ones check ones this is the loop 3 na this is the loop 3 na this is the loop 5 na loop 5 and loop 3 non touching is there any, any other no for the clarity or not so submit all the values already we know well already we know well this is the loop 1 result this is the loop 2 result and this is the loop 3 result and this is the loop 4 result and this is the loop 5 result are you clear so first one is loop 1 loop 5 loop 1 is a 3 and loop 5 is a 3 3 into 3 9 3 into 3 9 9 are you clear what about the sign loop 1 sign is a negative and loop 5 is neg sign is a negative negative into negative plus got it and next loop 2 loop 5 what is the loop 2 value 4 what is the loop 5 value is 3 so 4 into 3 4 into 3 12 4 into 3 12 clear what about the sign check it loop 2 sign is minus and loop 5 sign is minus minus into minus plus minus into minus plus and next loop 1 loop 4 guys carefully listen loop 1 is 3 and loop 4 is 10 check out loop 1 is 3 and loop 4 is 10 3 into 10 30 3 into 10 30 